Have you ever pondered over the paradox of leaving home to find your way back home? A seeming contradiction, yet a profound truth. The journey of renunciation or leaving home is, in essence, a voyage towards returning home. This is not about a physical displacement, but a transcendence beyond the material world towards inner tranquility. In this spiritual odyssey, shaving one's head is a symbolic act of eliminating desires from the heart. The hair represents the external, and desires the internal. This symbolism signifies the renunciation of worldly desires to seek inner peace. However, if only the hair is shorn but desires continue to linger in the heart, the act of renunciation loses its essence. The tale of the sixth patriarch Hui Neng is an enlightening illustration. To prevent internal strife within the Buddhist order, the fifth patriarch clandestinely passed the robe and bowl, symbols of spiritual authority, to Hui Neng, instructing him to stealthily leave the monastery at night. Despite their efforts, the secret was discovered by other disciples, sparking a conflict. Hui Neng had to display his spiritual prowess to convince the other disciples. Those who contested Hui Neng for the robe and bowl had shaven heads, yet their hearts were still brimming with desire. This story underscores that the focus of spiritual practice should be to eliminate desires from the heart, not merely adhere to external forms. The example of Jigong is equally instructive. On the surface, Jigong's indulgence in meat and wine made him indistinguishable from the layman. However, his heart was desireless and he remained in a transcendent state. This demonstrates that the purpose of spiritual practice is to eliminate desires and awaken, not to shave one's head and merely appear awakened. In conclusion, one must understand that the purpose of spiritual practice is not about external form, but about internal transformation. Only when we truly eliminate desires from our hearts can we genuinely renounce and return home. This is an inner awakening, a transcendence beyond the material world to a state of inner tranquility. This is leaving and returning home. This is the purpose of our spiritual practice and our life's goal. Endeavor to eliminate desires from your heart and become truly awakened. In the early hours of January 23, 2024, Fan Lin sat in the solitude of his room, contemplating the nature of spiritual practice. There is a profound sense of peace, he mused, in stripping away the layers of desire that shackle us to the material world. In this tranquility, we find our true home. It's a journey of return, a voyage inward. He continued, the process is not always easy. It requires discipline, patience, and most importantly, self-understanding. But the reward is immeasurable. It's not about renouncing the world, but about understanding our place within it. This, to me, is the ultimate goal of our spiritual practice. This insight from Fan Lin serves as a reminder to us all. The spiritual journey is not about escaping from the world, but about understanding our true nature and our place within it. It's about returning home, not by physically moving, but by shifting our consciousness. It's about awakening to the truth of who we really are. In the next scene, we will dive deeper into the idea of this inner journey and how it shapes our understanding of the world and our place in it.